And they're off. And that's a good start out of the blocks for John Key coming around the 10% mark. If Kim.com did try to sabotage his horse, it's certainly not showing here. In second place, there's Labour, but already a fair distance behind. That's a bad start for them. In third place is New Zealand first. He's got a good start out of the blocks, and Winston Peters really flogging that horse. Next, it's the Greens, and watch out for a good late finish. Further behind, we have the Conservatives looking pretty good at the moment. Next, we have Internet Mana. They won't be happy with that start. Then it's Māori with Te Uruo Flavel, second to the end of the act party, and it looks like it's David Seymour after after all, not Jamie White riding that horse into Parliament. He looks like a possum in the headlight. Bringing up the rear is United Future and Peter Dunn. Past the 20% mark is National. Labour in second, a good distance behind. The Greens are gaining on New Zealand first. Next, it's the Conservatives. Internet Munda not performing to expectations slightly ahead of Māori. Then it's ACT and United Future. Past 30% now and it's National all the way. Labour in a disappointing second. The Greens are making a move on New Zealand first and are getting the better of them. Next it's the Conservatives. No change there. Followed by Internet Mana almost neck and neck with Māori now. Then it's ACT. And we have some astonishing news on ACT. It looks as though Jamie White is looking to use his philosophy for mind control. And it's controlling David Seymour by hypnosis. Last place still, United Future. 40% of the track completed and it's National. Still well ahead of Labour. The Greens are gaining a bit of ground then it's New Zealand first with Winston Peters. Colin Craig is trying to piggyback ride, but Winston's saying, I told you so. Then it's Internet Mana, and it's touch and go for them with Maori Act and United Future bringing up the rear, and Peter Dunn looks stoned. 50% of the track, and it's national all the way. Labour may have gained a bit of ground, as it looks like they've stolen some of Maori's saddles, but they are still a distant second. Then it's the Greens looking steady in third, New Zealand first, then the Conservatives. Colin Craig is flailing that horse like a mad dog. Next it's Internet Mana double horse double jockey, but it's really looking touch and go whether they will make it. Low and steady act, but United Future is really having problems. It looks like the horse has eaten 1080 poison and Peter Dunn's been smoking weed. 60% of the race and no change to first. Second well back and not making any ground is Labour. The green steady and third, then it's New Zealand first. This is surprising to see them doing this well. Colin Craig's horse looks like it's going to quit on him, and he's straddling it very strangely. Then it's Murray, look like they've got the edge on Internet Mana. Their double horse is falling apart now, and Kim.com might be to blame. Then it's Acton United Future not making any ground. 70% gone, and it's still national. Labour looks well defeated in second. The Greens aren't performing up to expectations either. Then it's Winston Peters in New Zealand first, laughing off the Conservatives and shrugging off the press gallery. Colin Craig has fallen off his horse now. He's trying to get back on, but it looks like he might not get over the line. Then it's Maori looking steady. Internet money is in all sorts of trouble. Honey Hara Wera is struggling to stay on his horse, and Lila Hare is holding on for dear life. Their hopes are dwindling by the second. Next, it's Act, who seems to have lassoed himself onto the national horse in first position. Peter Dunn is also looking for a piggyback the rest of the way. 80% now, and National are even extending their lead. Labour looks done and dusted in second, and David Cunliffe looks resigned. The Greens are in third still, with Russell Norman and Materia Toure having run a good, honest race. Next, it's Winston Peters, who is streaks ahead of where he should be. Just just goes to show why the experience can get you over the line. Colin Craig is really beating his horse hard and it looks to be bleeding. Internet money have knocked into each other and both Lila Hare and Hani Hara Wera are holding on for dear life. Maori is still steady, then act in United Future with a rope around National. Is that even legal? 90% gone and it's National all the way. Labour making no ground and neither are the Greens. Then it's New Zealand first still doing unexpectedly well. Behind him Colin Craig has beaten his horse to death and that looks like disqualification for him. Next it's Murray still looking steady but not where they have been in previous race meet. And the internet horse and the mana horse have knocked into each other and Lila Hare and Honi Hara Wera have both fallen off. They are looking at disqualification too. Bringing up the rear is Act and United Future who seem to be coattailing on National. Coming up to the finish line, it's National all the way. National, 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 taking out first. John Key has ridden a fantastic race and he looks buggered and covered in dirt. That's a record finish though for him and it looks like a group of Maoris are doing the haka. It looks a little awkward actually. David Cunliffe has conceded defeat and finishes a distant second. He looks dead angry. Coming over the line in third is the Greens. They've run a steady race. Not quite the race they wanted, but they look happy with what they've achieved. In fourth, it's Winston Peters in New Zealand first, and he doesn't look like he wants to talk to anyone. It looks so now that he's saying, I told you so, and doing the finger to Kim.com. Looks like he might have issued a challenge also to John Key and National, saying they've won the battle and not the war. Then it's Murray and Tiura Roaf level. It looks like he's blaming Kim.com as well, and Labour for stealing his saddle. In six equal is act with David Seymour, though it looks like Jamie White is somehow still controlling him by some kind of mind control. Sixth equal is Peter Dunn, who looks like he wasn't setting out to do anything spectacular anyway, so you've got to wonder, will he be racing still next time? Our did not finishes with the Conservatives, Internet and Mana, who seem to have now realised that over 
feeding your horse just isn't going to win you the race. There's a lesson in that for all of us. We have a winner national, and that's it from me at the election race derby.